so back again. Um, and what I want to do here in this in this next video is just kind of run through where um, I would begin if I were um, trying to determine if this this video is real or not real. Okay. So um, if you think about the video, there's only a few things that you can really determine um, from watching the video, right? And one of those things, the I think the number one thing that you can tell is you can watch closely and, and see how much time was it between when the football left my hands, okay, so between when I threw the ball and then when I caught the ball. In other words, how long was the ball in the air for, okay? Um, and the reason why that's really important and valuable and useful is um, <clears throat> we know that the only thing accelerating the ball the only thing influencing the path of the ball is gravity, and we know that the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second per second. Um, so the ball kind of does this, right? And it reaches its highest point halfway, right? So, you know, if it's in the air for, for four seconds, it gets to its highest point in two seconds because then it takes another two seconds for it to do the second half of the path, right? So let's let's use that number. Let's just say um, total time in air was four seconds. I know for me it wasn't. It was more than that, but I'm just using this as an example that you can use. Um, uh, you know, you can use when you're making your own calculations. So. If the total time in the air was four seconds, right, it starts with some initial velocity. And remember, it's going in two directions, right? So it's got an initial velocity going up and an initial velocity going horizontally, okay? Um, if we know, let's do the horizontal first. If we know that the ball was in the air for four seconds, and let's just say this is 30 meters, okay? Um, the ball's in the air for four seconds. I run 30 meters and I catch it. The horizontal velocity is constant, right? And horizontal velocity, that's just how far did it go and how much time did it take? So in this case, with these numbers, um, we would have a horizontal velocity of 30 meters divided by four seconds, which I think is 7.5, so yeah, I think it's 7.5 meters per second, right? Get this out of the way. <clears throat> okay, so the horizontal velocity, not too bad, okay? Now the vertical velocity, okay, also not too bad, but we have to remember that that is not constant, so we can't use the same, you know, we can't use the same equation here. Um, Remember, what we've been using to analyze vertical motion is velocity graphs, right? So this is the velocity graph. <clears throat> it takes four seconds. Well, it's in the air for four seconds, right? Which means it gets to its highest point at two seconds, right? And at its highest point, the vertical velocity is exactly zero because it's changing its direction from being in the positive to being in the negative, right? The vertical velocity at its highest point is zero at highest point, at high point, I'll say, okay? So um, let's see. So if it's in the air for two seconds, it goes from whatever it started at to zero, in two seconds, that means um, the acceleration was 9.8, the time was 2, change in velocity equals acceleration times time, which means change in velocity here would be 9.8 times 2, which is like 19.6, um, right? So that means 
if it's in the air for two seconds, being accelerated at that rate, the initial velocity here must have been 19.6, okay? Again, just acceleration times time gives you the change in velocity. It ends at zero, which means this number is how fast it was going in the vertical direction the moment that it left my hands. And there you go. Now we have vertical velocity, horizontal velocity. What we can do then is use those numbers and a little bit of trigonometry and we can determine two things. One, what was the overall velocity, right? And secondly, we can determine what was the angle at which I threw the ball, which you may or may not need to know, but um, it's never bad to, to do extra analysis because, you know, it doesn't hurt. So, um, so these are the two numbers I need. I'm going to erase some things. Let's see. All right, so we have... Well, I'm just going to make a triangle, actually, not a graph. So we have vertical velocity is 19.6 meters per second. We have horizontal velocity is 7.5 meters per second. And the overall velocity is here, right? So let's kind of make this separate. Um, how do you determine the length that the overall velocity there is basically just the, um, the hypotenuse of that triangle? So I guess overall velocity squared equals 19.6 squared plus 7.5 squared equals something. Uh, it's probably something like 21 or 22. Let's see. 19.6 squared plus 7.5 squared square root of that. Yeah, 20.985, so we'll just call it 21. 21 meters per second. That was the overall velocity with which the ball was thrown at some angle to make it stay in the air for a total time of four seconds. Okay. Um, this angle, again, um, we've done these, there's um, practice problems where we've done this. The angle at which the ball is thrown, this is 19.6, that's 7.5, that's opposite, that's adjacent. And so, um, inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent gives you numbers, there it is, 19.6 divided by 7.5, boom. Okay, about 69 degrees. So, okay, there you go. So that's like everything you might want to know about what happened right when I was you know, at the moment when I threw the ball. Exactly how fast it was going, even in the component form, this is how fast it was going up, this is how far fast it was going in the horizontal direction, there's the angle at which it left my hand. Um, you could also figure out how high it went by finding the area of that velocity graph. It's, it's, all, it's all right there, okay? So, um, so I'm not saying this is how you have to do it, but this is how I would do it. If, if I was given the task to determine was this video fake or not, the next thing I would do, I suppose, is I would look up, like, how fast is 21 meters per second? Um, I mean, how many miles per hour is that? You can, you can convert that. You can go to a website, like a unit conversion website, and um, they'll give you that conversion real quick. My guess here is that 21 meters per second isn't, it's not slow, but it's not, I don't think, super duper fast. But don't forget, in my video, the ball was in the air for way longer than just four seconds. So, hope that's helpful. Um, if you still have questions, um, I linked to the office hours sign-up sheet today. Um, so take a look there, sign up for a meeting, and we can talk further and hopefully uh, answer your questions. All right, good luck folks, cheers.